There's so much misery around us. Instead of running from it, we should face it head on. Together. We've been through so much. We can best this blight. Hello everybody and welcome <laughs> back to Horizon Forbidden West where these two just made a great argument. I feel that would parallel the current pandemic situation that's still ongoing. <laughs> Hi again. Hello, hello. Sorry. Are this more more planting? Is this I thought maybe the grove was up high like the others was. <laughs> the first bloom of the winter song. I can feel the heaviness of my years fade away just by looking at them. They're beautiful. It was good to see the young ones fight for this place. I'll be damned if those sprouts didn't hold their own, strong as the roots of a proud tree. Just don't tell them I said <laughs> Your secrets. <laughs> now, I better make sure our newly victorious warriors don't injure themselves while celebrating. What a dad, you know? What a good dad. But I feel like Aloy always has a special look in her eye when she sees, like, the dads, you know? Where? So this is their groove. I like the way they do it. And I'm sure after a while, like, those, uh, those pots, like, the, because the, they're woven, it looks like, mostly, they probably, like, degrade and then just become part of, like, you know, the fertilizer and grow. Are you talking to to uh, I was just talking to the flowers. Oh, probably because somebody broke them. Aloy. I can't believe it. I came back ready for a fight and instead found that you had already entered. She was the one who oh, asked for my help. Done. Your people are lucky to have Keely. That's help. right. Stubborn as weeds that one. I'm just glad we're all back in Riverhem for good this time. May the land always bloom in your steps, Aloy. Aloy's not good at saying thank you or goodbye. Still She's not good at it. Why can't? Uh, do I, I think I've already got that, so that's good. It doesn't even say, though. Let's run down here. I would think that would tell me it's the river him campfire, or at least give me like a little symbol for river him in this vicinity, but apparently not. Anyway, I'm gonna go look and see what's down here. Like, why there's a workbench in the middle of nowhere. Oh my gosh, there's even tanks all the way up here. We haven't seen a ton of old world tech around up here. This is just, oh, there's just, there's just birds. Shelter. Should be safe here. There's just sky drifters. Give me, give, get off, get, get off. Okay. Let's do some long range damage improvement on this one. Oh, great rotor horn, bellow back sack webbing. Oh my goodness, I don't even know if I've seen a bellow back out here yet. I probably am. I am running out of shards. Ooh, increases damage every time. I kind of want to get, like, especially on the blue ones, like, the at least the first upgrade done. Component tear. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, looks like this is the first one because it is the lowest level one. I must travel to the heart of Tanakh territory and search of Aether, the flying one. Oh, boy. We're going on a journey to be there. I think I am just going to fast travel to here, yes, to the place I already found. And we're going to go. I'm so excited. Ah. <laughs> I see you, Chandler. Uh. Sit, please. If you walk by, you'll miss out on a good trip. Oh, let's see. I do have I do have stuff I can give you for. Oh, here's the bolt blaster. I don't have I don't think I have one yet. I'm not super interested in it, and I'm not super interested in the, the short bows. This would be like the fourth Nora outfit.
Are you saluting? All right. What do you want? What do you want to tell me? Again. Choosing the right <laughs> rations can be just as important to your chance of survival as choosing the right weapons. If you want food that'll save your life out in the wilds, go northwest to Salt Bite. The cook there, Pintala, she'll whip up a meal for anyone who needs it, to knock or not. I'll make sure to pay her a visit if I'm out that way. Stay alert, soldier. No nonsense. I'm trying to decide if the outfit is changing as I upgrade it. I think it might be. Oh my gosh, time to go west. Let's look at the overall map really quick. We zoom out. Yes, okay, so we're gonna be kind of in like Nevada, right? Because this is this is Las Vegas. Yeah, so we'll be kind of in the Nevada area. I haven't spent a ton of time in Nevada. I bet you this is more the California side of things, which is where I have spent more time. This is the coast, I think. I wonder if this is like an island out here, maybe? That's cool. I'm so excited. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> Ruins don't care. I do care, but I love ruins, don't get me wrong, but the ruins in this game are frustrating. Although, I think if I approached it with the correct, like, you know, expectations. Oh, yo, the classic, like, <laughs> the classic billboards. I got too excited. I love, it, it reminds me of Fallout Lost, Lost, New Vegas, Fallout New Vegas. Please let me climb up all the way. Which I only played a little bit, but greatly enjoyed. I think I still have, like, the tiny little, um... Yeah, it's crash. Well, they definitely don't sound like rebels. What? Maybe if I follow their tracks, I can find out where they're. What are you talking about? What are you seeing? I can probably use my phone oh to follow the tracks those riders left behind. What riders? These. Uh... That looks like the track. That's that's not like the tracks I follow. That's like a track for a machine. But it might actually be a racetrack, actually. Anyway, I want to look out at this desolate wasteland over here. There's definitely blight. I'm loving the billboard. Uh, Fallout Lost New Vegas. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, that's a rebel camp, I bet. Right there. Unless the Tanakh just, like, really try to make themselves look scary. But there's blight everywhere. Okay! I have no interest in your little mind games or your physical games. No interest in any of those. I... Oh, hello. I am just trying... I got... I don't know what's over to the right. I'm sure it's cool. What new things? An owl died over here? Oh, bummer. I'm hoping for, like, new food plants and stuff. Oh, this must be a place then. I'm cooking my armor in this heat. Listen, you're wearing the Karja armor. It's designed for this. So this is probably another place that like was holding something secure. I'll land out here is sick with blight too. Because there's like the nasties. But we'll be Wait, able you're to a. All of it. You're Once a Pakiri. Strong enough to capture Hephaestus. Yes, they're smaller than boars. <coughs> ooh, 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 ooh! What's this? It does not look like any cactus I've ever seen in my life. Anyway, this was like some sort of... Fortress? Old world fortress? I mean, we have that up there, too. What that? What that? That probably has a... That probably has a dilly walk. A, a, a glow glass thing. Let me up. Do I care enough? It doesn't look too hard. Go. Keep going. The rewards we get in the immediate for these little glasses are not great. But somebody told me that the reward, I think you get some sort of like armor or um, weapon or something for completing the set. 
And I'm, uh, I'm a certainly a sucker for that sort of a thing, so. I can't see anything. <clears throat> New plant. Just a valuables cash, really? I guess it would tell me on the map if there was a glowy thing here. Where is oh, that's my base, yeah. Okay. I think, oh, if I went back there, no, I'm not going to go back there right now. I was like, I wonder if anything would be different, but I'm not going to go look at it right now. Unknown oh, campfire gauntlet run? Absolutely not. I saw the bird though. Where is like the the solar wing, the pterodactyl? Not a bird, pterodactyl. I saw it. Yeah, right, right over there, in the in the top thing. There it is, sun wing. No, I'm not going over there. I just wanted to make sure I wasn't hallucinating. This is a game changer for travel. I think it helps. I think they like it too because then they can make a big map and be like, look at our big map. But I'm to the age where I'm like, oh, <laughs> I don't know. I'm like, it's bigger than Skyrim. I'm like, no, please. <laughs> I still have never finished Skyrim ever. I've put over a thousand hours in that game and I've never finished it because you don't finish Skyrim. You just, you just, you just exist within it. <laughs> And I love that. That's what I love about it. One of the many things I love about it. It's definitely is giving me Nevada vibes. I did work in the Sierra Nevadas at the end of 2020. Hold on to this for later. Um. Is this a? Oh, it's hidden in like the pinion pine. It's probably like a pinion pine. Oh, peppers. Oh, cool. Red thorn. They're called red thorns. Oh, that's so good. That's a good. I mean, that's good. They're not like pokey. Are you friendly? You're you uh, friendly? Oh no, this is probably the racetrack. The machine riders from before. Ooh, I know. The ones who were racing. No. I wonder what they're up to. Vulture. New animals to destroy. I should. Oh, the Joshua trees! These little Joshua trees. Nice. It's good to see. Yeah, I did work in the Sierra Nevadas in Nevada, and that's the only place I really worked there. And then I worked in the Mojave in California, which does stretch into Nevada a bit. I'm pretty sure. I, every now and then I had to double check, like, where the Mojave so stretches and the Colorado Desert and the Colorado mm -hmm. Plateau, um, the Great Basin the Rocky Mountains. I just like to have like a better idea of like where those ranges kind of are uh, said to you know, peter out. Excuse me? Oh yeah, where's that storm? The big mean looking storm. A quest? Is this just what the Tanakh live in? Good time to pull out shotgun. Uh -huh. Jeez, this looks like a raider camp. Man, are they just gonna let me walk in? Abide by the laws here. Sure thing. I didn't think he'd let strangers walk in. This 100% looks like the old raider camps. Even the new raider camps. Not one more step. The Tanakh don't suffer outlanders in the clan lands. I was given right of passage by Marshal Fashav. I'm not here to fight. Hair like blood. This is the warrior who defeated Gruda, champion of the traitor Regala. Her life is not ours to take. 
You may enter, but mind our ways. You will be watched. You're just as strict as the Nora. I'll keep that in mind. Hi. <laughs> this is very not a welcoming place. They're so beefy. I don't need a chaplain telling me what battles to fight. The real battle is arguing with you. A lot of wounded. What's going on? Look, we don't get those hearts, we don't get water, and everyone dies. <sighs> I'm going back to the pens. I'll gut those machines myself. So machines did this? An Easterner with a hair like blood. The Outlander from the Embassy. You killed Greta. Regala's champion. He was one of ours. It's Aloy, and I'm not looking for any trouble. Well, maybe I could use some trouble right about oh, now. Oh, well, okay. <laughs> Out there is a big herd my people harvest. We take the machine's hearts, send them to our capital, get paid with water. It gets harder every year. Killer machines keep showing up to defend the herd. Last one hit us right as we were penning up our prey. Nearly wiped us out. But our quarry is still in the pens, which means if I can get their hearts, we can trade for the water we need. If you go out there alone, you'll probably wind up dead, Draka. I'm not going alone, Chaplain. The great champion killer is coming with me. Oh, uh, um, how about you answer some questions? Yeah, first? yeah, yeah. Also, I think that sweat on Aloy's face, which is amazing, that they're including that. Like, why? They didn't include that in the last one. It was just like Aloy would say, you know, like she would like physically react to like the wind or the cold or the heat, and she would talk, be like, wow, it's really hot out here, but now you can see sweat on her. Also, why would you live out here if you have to trade for water? You mentioned the capital gives you water. There's no giving. We pay tribute for it with machine parts. Parts being the most valuable. Every other desert village has some resource to exchange. But the capital of Scalding Spear is the only one with a constant supply of water. Here in dry country, it's the same as holding everyone's lives in their hands. Yeah. It is the way of the desert. I don't like that. How we've always survived. I mean, no. Yeah. There's resources out here. Like, that's the thing. Like... Ancient people, like, not ancient people, well, ancient people in terms of this game, like, ancient Native Americans in terms of this game, because, <laughs> I, mean, I don't know, I guess they're ancient now, too, kind of, but, like, you know, Native Americans, like, way back, like, 8,000 years ago or more, 10,000 years ago, 5,000 years ago, they managed to survive and even thrive in the deserts. It's difficult to get water, but, like, you just gotta, like, set up camp at springs, and that's a lot of, like, we'll, we'll always find stuff. Well, not always, because oftentimes nowadays cows just trample the crap out of those springs and people have looted them, so springs aren't always a great place to find things. But um, they were back in the day. Ever, you always had, like, you, you just, like, as far as I can remember from, like, seeing on the maps and stuff, like, from what we can conjecture about, like, trade routes and, like, my, my, my migrational patterns, like, you would go from water source to water source. You know, like you didn't stray terribly far from water sources and a system like this with a centralized water system that has to be imported. I don't know if that's ever been successful in the Medi- I don't think that's ever had to happen in like the Mediterranean or anything because everybody always in the Mediterranean and like in China, like all those places, like they always set up on massive rivers, the Yangtze, um, freaking the river I uh, Idris, is that- Oh my, no, what is it? What is it? That one in India. Oh my gosh, I can't remember. And I can't remember the ones in the Mediterranean. There's two big ones in the Mediterranean. Um, uh, but not, not the Mediterranean. What am I talking about? Um, it's kind of the Mediterranean. Uh, in the Nile, obviously. Like, you, the desert, like, like, resource somewhat bereft areas you set up near massive rivers or springs. Ooh, this system seems very faulty, is what I'm trying to get at. <laughs> what can you tell me about this herd? Been there for years. We harvest the parts we need from it. No more, no less. New machines always show up to replace our kills. What about the killer machines you mentioned? They guard the herd. The more we take out, the more arrive. First sawtooths, Oh ravagers. my gosh. Now, a sandblasted thunder What? Hit us right as we were herding machines no. into our pens. <laughs> Only survivors are the ones you see here. 
The breakdown in this system is incredible. You have one lifeline for water. What if the capital's like, nah, what if the what if it gets attacked by like raiders? You know, like how often do you get these imports? Like, you know what I mean? Like this seems extremely tenuous. Like not worth building out here for. If your, your settlement gets too big, and this did happen in some places where, like, if your settlement gets too big, we've noticed in, like, you know, in the, re in the archaeological record, if settlements or areas would get too used up, the resources would diminish, right? And people would scatter. Like, you'd get, like, a bigger group together, and, like, eventually, like, for safety, you know, purposes like that. And then after, this even happened out in, like, the, with the mound builders out east. Like, sometimes, sometimes, at least from what we can conjecture, right? Um, society, not societies, um towns would get a little too big and like you really had to break you have to look further and further for resources and once that happens you kind of get a breakdown of that town i think from what i've been reading in the past cahokia is a good example uh where it got really big and it was very successful but eventually you had to go further and further and further for resources and the ground couldn't support agriculture as well plus there's always like the like droughts and like floods and stuff like that and if you get too many of those it messes things up anyway people disperse after that right they, they go into smaller family groups and they disperse um, and then, you know, eventually if you find a nice place and like more and more people hear about it, they kind of build back up again. You know, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a flexible system and it happens over like hundreds of years sometimes, thousands maybe, but like, especially hundreds. And yeah, anyway, I'm just, this system, I mean, like, I just, it seems, I, I don't, I don't know if I trust it, you know? Doesn't sound like you like this commander of yours. Survival in the desert requires a more disciplined approach than that of other clans. That means she really likes her rules and order. But you don't. I just don't like hers. This is insubordination. Mm -hmm. I must be dehydrated. Oh! Okay, so he's not in charge. Who's... Wait. Who's the commander? I didn't, I didn't hear him back-talking any commanders, I thought. I heard him calling you chaplain. What does that That's mean? That's an old world word. It means I've survived our youth and outlived my brethren in many battles. As such, I counsel the desert clan. Those who reach my age are meant to share our wisdom with the young. Keep them on the true warrior's path when their stubbornness kicks up dust and clouds it. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, hey. <laughs> you knew Regala's champion, Gruda. He was one of ours. So was Regala. Desert Clan's pride and joy. Why is she attacking her own people? She feels betrayed. Regala was a legend among our clan, fearless and unrelenting. A marshal to Hikaru, chief of all Tanakh. His judgment made flesh. What changed? The Karja king asked for peace, and Hikaru agreed. Regala wanted payment in kind for the atrocities the Karja committed. A Tanakh empire that would push into the east. So she challenged Takaro's decision. He had no choice but to face her in combat. Hikaro won. She should have died by his hand then, but the chief let her live. For Tanakh, that kind of mercy is a bitter drink. Now that she rides machines and murders marshals, we might not be able to ignore her camps in the desert for much longer. No one in the desert plans touching those camps. This is between Regala and Hikaru. If the chief's strong enough to lead, he'll prevail. If he doesn't, he'll make way for one who is. That's a little harsh, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, well. So is the desert. Yeah. I was like, if you live in a harsh environment, it kind of breeds harsh rules, you know? I'll help you harvest those pen machines if I can. Probably better if you don't do it on your own. Seems like your village needs you right now. I like her. Mm. An outlander after my own heart. We can leave now, or I can meet you at our outpost southeast of here. I have something to take care of first. You go on ahead. I'll wait at the outpost for as long as I can. May the Ten protect you then. I'll await your return and report to the capital. Yeah, you do that. Mm. That armor look like his armor looks extremely unwieldy and like very uncomfortable. Outlander, I offer you an honorable trade. Oh, yeah, herbalist. 
Well, I have those. Are you certain there's nothing you require? I mean, I'm pretty full up. Jeez Louise, you guys need to insulate your houses better. Oh my gosh, why is everything pokey? Like, really? I know you guys want to look tough, but this just seems excessive. Make sure to save my progress. I will. I just want to look around for a bit. This is a new place. These are the desert clans. That's how good of a fight it was, my friend. Okay, move. Your marks are true. The outlanders be more careful. Listen, I haven't done anything wrong in my entire life. Hello? Can I dock? No. <gasps> Blast burst. Love that. Love that stuff. Oh, my pouch is full. Dang it. I should maybe... Should make the things that require it. I have enough blast traps? Okay. No. More weapons. Oh, you're a food person. Scorpion skewers, yikes. Can I Oh, the famous Nora. It won't let me like scroll down. Oh, what? Oh, okay. They're under tools? Fascinating. Wings of the Ten. Ah. Spike stalks do. Wow. Overridden machines do more damage. That's cool. Fascinating. I love seeing the different Let's cuisines. Have a trade. Let's do this. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> a bellow back circulator. I'm gonna need to go kill myself a bellow back. Oh, cool. And I just finished upgrading the rope caster. Dang it. Maybe I'll use my new upgraded one to uh, to destroy these ones. It can also launch purge water canister harpoons, which seems like it would operate differently. Piercing shredder gauntlet. Chin, an innovative chin, kin weapon uses piercing shredders to inflict extra damage against armor. It's probably just better than the one that I have. Yeah, I don't have it equipped. Another time. Where's your painters? Oh shoot! Not catch a break from this heat. I mean, they're serious about starting you young. Look at that! Oh, the kid got himself. Or they just don't care. Maybe it's not like formal as of yet, but they're just like, yeah, sure, it's fine, kid. Just play with the sharp, pointy weapons. Everything here is sharp and pointy. If you die on it, that's your fault. A fellow bag. Nice. Can I have? Oh, look at that kid. That's cute. Final battle with Regala approaches. Does, are you guys gonna actually fight her? I mean, it seems like they—they're not like big fans of her. But maybe it's partly because she was defeated by the chief. Dang, they have like an intense machine operation here. I need to find... Yes, so I do want to go help him... Wait, 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 wait. I want to help him, Guy. 
There's for the haunt. Okay. After that, I will go do the tall neck. Because it's always useful to at least clear some of this out. Oh, this is so cool. Anyway, I hope you all have enjoyed this episode. I'm going to go ahead and call it here. Uh, I just realized I haven't, I don't think I went like ever out here at all very much. There's a car gel. Yeah, I didn't go south much in this area. That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> anyway, thank you all again for joining me. I appreciate it. Really quick, I want to say thank you to my patrons, to all my patrons, but to especially Reese Calito, my sapling tier patron. Thank you so much for your support. And Christopher, my tree tier patron. Thank you so much for your support. You're the super bestest, and I really appreciate it. So thank you all again for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.